Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Russia and pictures and leadership and Putin and the way I talk <laughs> because I got a message asking me if I meant something and we'll go through it. Um, and we'll just kind of go over what has happened and where we go from here. Okay, so here's the message. I've noticed in your videos about Russia, you almost never name people, but instead list their position. Boss of Wagner, Commander of Division X, etc. That's why it really surprised me when you said Gherkin's name in a video. It was in a video about how alliances could be formed to oppose Putin, and how even if the boss of Wagner took Putin down, he wouldn't sit on the throne next. It would be somebody else. Does that relate to today's news about Gherkin? I mean, yeah, it does. Okay, so quick recap. About three weeks ago, video went out detailing some of the various factions inside of Russia. Gherkin is a very prominent figure in one of those factions, uh, the, the more nationalist faction. Um, the video itself talked about how really any of these factions individually don't have the strength to oppose Putin but two or more of them together do. Okay. Um, since then, we have talked about how Putin has become uh, possibly purgy. That brings us to the news of, well, yesterday, by the time y'all watch this. Gherkin has been detained. <laughs> Gherkin has been detained. Um, Putin wanting to get him out of a picture, out of the picture, that makes sense. Um, the fact that it wasn't a picture window is surprising. The reality is Gherkin, if I had to choose somebody three weeks ago as to who would be sitting on the throne next, as I kind of insinuated in that video, yeah, that's who it would have been. Um, if he had aligned with Wagner, pushed things, it, it was a real possibility. Uh, Putin... Putin probably believes the same thing, so he has been detained. Uh, I think it's for uh, inciting extremism or something like that, but, but he, he is in custody at the moment. That may prove to be a mistake. That may prove to be a mistake. Putin is scared. He knows that he has lost the, the ironclad grip he had on the factions, and it is, it is causing him to behave in a more polite manner. The problem is the factions that he has nourished over the years, they confuse politeness for weakness. Um, taking them and detaining them, that leaves them in play. There's somebody that could be brought back later. Um, if the political situation changes. And they might be able to communicate with the other people in their factions or other factions. Um, Putin is, he's making an error. He's making an error. You cannot do what he is trying to do half-heartedly. Now, to be clear, what he's trying to do is wrong. It's not how a free country operates, but I don't think anybody watching this channel is under the delusion that Russia is a free country. Um, so, unless the, the sentence for Gherkin is a very permanent one, you'll probably still see his name again in the future. Um, and Putin's grip is slipping. Not just is there insubordination out in the field in Ukraine. Um, since they removed a lot of those commanders, they are getting more and more units that are basically like, oh, you want that hill taken? Why don't you go do it yourself? Um, not just is that occurring because the, the fear isn't there. Um, it, it's happening within the upper echelons, those that are close enough to him to actually make something happen. Um, he, he's making mistakes. Uh, yeah, it, it is, 
it is rare for me to name somebody. Um, but I, honestly, at that time, he was the only real likely person that could openly challenge him because his followers were, well, I mean, let's just say the charges that he's allegedly facing as far as, you know, inciting extremism or whatever. Yeah, I mean, they're not wrong. I mean, they're not like trumped up. His followers are very devout and they are the type that would be prone to action. Um, but Putin is trying to be an authoritarian strongman nicely. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of that ever working historically um, because during the rise to power, people typically surround themselves with those who are ruthless, which means those who lead the factions are ruthless. And when they smell Putin's weakness, which is becoming more evident by the day, they may be emboldened. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.